We got history. history. Got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me. So DJ Spoo, actually, I do a lot of charitable work, charity work. DJ Spoo called me and said, um, would I be keen to do some charity work? There are some um, prisoners in the cells who have decided to change their lives around, who have been studying and they're having a graduation. Uh, a graduation. So um, I actually went there for a charity event. I had no idea that Mulemo was one of the criminals locked up in that very prison. I had no idea he would be there. I had no idea there would be media there. I went there for a charity event and in fear, <laughs> I panicked um, he asked for a photo I took the photo and did my best to smile but I did not go there to visit him so speaking in public telling people that I came there to come and have a, a personal visit is not true um, and the other thing I want to say is one of his close friends had reached out to me because there was a funeral and he said to me, Amanda, hey, we haven't heard from you in a long time. <laughs> you know, what happened to you? And I said, well, you know, to be blatantly honest, your friend has been raping me. <laughs> I endured rape for two years, so I don't ever want to see him again. And he said, why didn't you say something? <laughs> because we've had so many out of court settlements for him doing similar things to different women. So, Mac G, Mulemo, Marohanyo, Jup Jup, both of you, for the fact that you, especially Mac G, you find gratification of not ver verifying facts for your own personal gain and financial standing when you are, could potentially be destroying people emotionally, not knowing what they have been through. I urge any woman who have been abused, raped, by both Magji or, or Mulemo to come forward and kill Kumala. I just want to say, I believe you. And I think you're an incredible mom. I don't need to know the details because I endured the trauma myself. <laughs> and I know you probably fought to be alive too. So. You know, any woman who endured any abuse from Mac G, from Lemo Jup Jup, because I genuinely believe that it takes an abuser and someone who condones gender based violence to have been able to conduct an interview like this and to speak of women in such a manner. It is 2021, guys. It is not okay anymore. Okay, we may have accepted your abuse before. Our parents and grandmothers before us may have accepted it, but this stops here. Okay, I am the example. If there's any of those women who have been abused by these men, I urge you to please DM me, come forward, and we will fight them together because I'm not afraid anymore. Okay, and evidently they're using my name in their interviews for relevance because I'm quietly focusing on my career. <laughs> which is very successful at that God has been so so good and gracious to me but I also believe that God would have not allowed these things to happen to me if there wasn't a purpose and a reason for it okay so if you've gone through this by these men please reach out to me and we'll fight them we have a very big problem of gender-based violence in this country um, and I think that the change will only start if we start to speak up um, it needs to stop guys it's not okay and um, you need to know that if you have been a victim of this and this has happened to you you have not done anything wrong um, and it is absolutely okay to stand up for yourself um, and it doesn't matter what anybody thinks and don't worry um, my biggest thing uh, was would people believe me and that was my biggest thing um, and the second thing was, would it affect my work? You know, as a female, I genuinely believe we're always fighting double time against um, the opportunities that men have. So I didn't want to create any problems for myself. I just wanted to make sure that I was successful at all costs. And um, although that's what I may have wanted, I realized that putting this... I literally stored this under a rug and I hoped that I would forget about it, but I, n I never dealt with it. And um, 
<laughs> listening to to a podcast like that uh, having it played thinking about what could have happened no